Let's write the atomic orbital diagram for arsenic, that's AS, on the periodic table. First off, we need to write the electron configuration for arsenic. So arsenic has the atomic number of 33. That means it has 33 protons, and protons equal electrons in neutral elements. And all the elements are listed as neutral elements on the periodic table. So we have 33 electrons, and arsenic's right here on the periodic table. So we'll follow this pattern here until we get to arsenic and we've used 33 electrons. 1s1, 1s2, that's full. Then we go to the second energy level, that's 2s, 2s1, 2s2. And then after the s, we're over to the p, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. p holds up to 6. Then third energy level, 3s2, 3p6. Fourth energy level, 4s2. And then we have 3D, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. D holds up to 10. 3D, 10. We've used 30. We have 4P, 1, 2, 3. 4P, 3. And that's arsenic. We've used all 33. If you add these numbers up, it'll equal 33. So we can use the electron configuration now to write the atomic orbital diagram for arsenic. So both of these representations, the electron configuration and the atomic orbital diagram, they're representing the same thing. We're trying to describe where the electrons are around the nucleus of the arsenic atom. You can think of it as right here is the nucleus, and these are energy levels, kind of like shells, around the nucleus. So we start off with 1s2. We put both of those there in opposite directions, 2s2, 2p6, spread them out, and then we pair them up. We have 3s2 and then 3p6, 4s2, and then we get to 3d10. So we spread them out again, and then we pair them up. For the 4p3, we spread them out, and that's the atomic orbital diagram for arsenic. And again, what we're trying to do is show where these electrons are around the nucleus of the arsenic atom. So both of these representations, that's what they do. This is Dr. B with the Atomic Orbital Diagram for Arsenic, AS. Thanks for watching.